Hey guys, welcome back to another Way of the Hunter video. And today, I want to do some hunting from stands. And we are going to be hunting a couple feed zones. So first, we're going to start out right here. This is in the Diamond Drill area. We have a whitetail feed zone out there. And we have mule deer back up in here. But I, I don't think we're going to be able... To see the mule deer unless they come in either from down here uh possibly <laughs> yeah we're not in the best position for the mule deer feed zone but we definitely are for these white tail now the question is will they come in or not the feed zone that we have over there is for often but <laughs> You know, I have noticed that sometimes the animals don't come to those zones every day like you think they would. Some animals do, some animals don't. Um, I have found that the bighorn sheep that we have that I've been trying to monitor a herd for a, uh, another project, they don't come into their drink zone every day, and that is an often used drink zone. So yeah, guys, we're just going to wait it out here in this stand until something comes in. Their feed zone covers quite the, uh, the time period, so we might be here for a while. I hope they come in before it gets dark, though. Okay, so we have some mule deer. Sounds like they're coming in from behind us here. I have no idea where they'll come up. Oh, 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 they're right there, they're right there. Young male. Female. <laughs> How do you like that, guys? That's... Beautiful, right? What we have there another young male, female. So the white tail may feed over here early. One star young male. Looks like this is a pretty young herd. Another female. That's another looks to be a young buck. That one looks Hmm. <laughs> I can't get a spot on him. Yeah, it does look like there's a lot of young bucks there, though. That's a, uh, that's a very young herd I will have to keep an eye on. I really wish the whitetail would come in. They're just kind of bending down. Okay, it looks like there's two decent bucks right there and a third decent buck. Right there, but I cannot... Okay, that's a two-star mature. What is that one? I'm going to guess that these are all two-star matures. That's something that the devs need to work on. When they lay down, they uh, they really do glitch out a lot. One-star young. Oh, guys. How, how awesome is this, huh? What a beautiful spot to hunt deer. Another two-star mature. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's a two star. That one there getting up. He looks decent. He looks decent. He's just a two star as well. Oh, God. What happened there, buddy? Let me guess. That's another two star, huh? Okay, so... We can take 
any one of these actually. I'm kind of tempted to try to take him. But I think he's going to move past that tree. Yeah, he definitely is. Two star mature. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's get ready here. Oh, God. Come on. Load already. Stop moving. Stop moving. Ha! Well, I'm not taking that shot, am I? Dang it. Let's see here. Can I... Can I sneak out here? I need to... Ah, I think the one I want is the one that just laid down this one here. So we're going to wait for him to stand back up and we're going to take him. I guess it doesn't matter. They're all two-star. So let's see here. There we go. Perfect amount of blood. I mean... That was within a bow shot. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, actually really too close uh, for my taste for hunting. Uh, with a rifle, anyway. I don't need to get under 50 yards. Uh, 164 to 200, I feel is great. Anything... Uh, Anything shorter than that, I, I, I prefer. I prefer not to uh, get that close. But like I said, with a bow, it would have been perfect. So that actually didn't take long at all. Not after he uh, he came in, right? And that was a. Uh, that's nice. That that tree stand is in a hell of a spot. Someone uh, in my live stream was telling me about that. So, thank you to the person who told me about that, because, yeah, that is a perfect spot. We can see both need zones. We will have to come back here, though, and check the whitetail. Maybe the whitetail feed in the morning. Uh, where did this blood go now? Now, I'm going to assume he didn't go too far. I don't have the 308. I'm using the 7mm 08 today because it's a perfectly good gun. And, you know, I feel like everybody is using the 308. That's, like, the most popular weapon in the game right now. And uh, other weapons work fine. Other weapons work just fine. <laughs> 33.5 yards away. Double lung. Bit of a quartering shot, but that's all right. If we would have aimed just a little lower, just around that elbow, we would have hit heart. So we get 68.62% on the genetics. Still a very good looking buck. Very good. Okay, so we will sell him. And let's move on. Oh, no. Wait, wait. You know what? Let's let's not. Let's just uh, let's just try to work our way back to that tree stand because the whitetail deer are actually moving in. So, ooh, we might get a twofer here, guys. We might get a twofer. I haven't seen one mature buck yet. Yeah, that's, uh, let's take out the, uh, the rifle here and let's just check them out to the scope because the scope, we get a better zoom. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a herd to watch, but we are going to skip this herd from now. We're not going to take any of them out. None of them look really good. I think they're all young. So let's move on to the next stand.
Okay, so I know I said this was a stand hunt, and to be fair, we were in that stand right there. Um, I thought I would get on some moose because we are right here. Zoom out, show you guys, in that swampy area. And the one thing that I did not expect to see our whitetail. But yet, we have a herd of whitetail in front of us. So, yeah, they weren't coming towards the stand. So I decided to get down out of there and just check these out because I only caught a glimpse of the, uh, the last two deer in the herd that were moving out. And as I said, I have never seen whitetail deer over here before. So this for me is pretty cool. Now I have no idea if there's anything decent in here. It, it's really not looking like it. And they are, they are on the move. So I need to get somewhere where I can see more of the herd here. This is a pretty decent sized herd. But it does look like there's a one-star adult. That's not good. There's another one-star adult. So it is a fairly young herd of whitetail. Um, and just in case you're wondering, guys, when I say that, I mean, there's there's not many or no matures in the herd. So that's what I mean when I say it's a fairly young herd. Um, I haven't seen a mature yet. It seems like there's a lot of females in the herd. But uh, this is this is you know one of the good things to do. It's it's like reconnaissance, right? You have to you have to scope the animals out to see what's there because, like I said, I have never seen white tail up here before. This is the first time. Um, I not really sure how the game works so far with with the animals because this happens. I wouldn't say frequently, but uh, on occasion, it does happen. You'll see animals where you just don't expect to see them, and it doesn't look like there are any mature bucks in that herd at all. So there is yet another herd of whitetail that we have to let pass by because there's simply nothing in there worth hunting and there's definitely no moose up here so ah i guess it's on to the next one. <laughs> oh, that's all right though you know when i did my hunt for the mouflon that was kind of a failure someone commented and they said that they would like to see more content like that so i thought you know what we're going to add that we're going to add the failures and the good stuff i mean that's what the game's about Literally, you can watch any YouTube content creator, you know, getting five stars and stuff like that. But I want to show you guys, it's not all about that. All right, so yeah, we are going to move on to the next hunt. I'm not going to take anything out of there. There's uh, really no point. All right, guys, so we set time back to the drink zone because it was getting dark, too dark to hunt. And this is actually one of my favorite stands to hunt in the game you're almost always guaranteed to see some mule deer here and it's really cool because they feed right over uh in that field over there all up over there uh sometimes they're over there sometimes they're over in here but uh yeah as you can see if you can kind of see them right over there they are starting to come in uh now it's just a little before nine so they are working their way in and we're just going to hang out in the sand and uh, wait till they get within a decent range. Um, normally what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll finally settle in like right over in this area here. So I've, I've seen this herd quite a bit. Um, I've taken quite a few bucks out of this herd actually. So this is definitely one of the ones that I watch, and it'll be interesting to see if there's anything new here. I haven't hunted this herd in a while. 
And uh, there's always so there's a two star mature. You know, it seems like that's always what's in this herd. I've never really seen anything bigger than a two star mature, unfortunately. So you know, I'm not I'm not really sure how I could build this herd up better when there's just no good genes in it anyway. Right. Okay. So that's a two-star adult male. That has promise. That has promise. So we're just gonna let him grow up. And honestly, we're gonna get that one star out of there. And I'm thinking the best bet with him is depending on how big he gets. I mean, two-star adult. Depending on his age, he could end up being a four-star possibly a five star but i really think it would be best to just let him go let him go let him grow let him really get his genes in the herd if uh if you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh so that's a one star young one star mature so he definitely has to go him and that two star mature they should go Let's just get our zeroing correct here. And he's on the move again. Now hopefully he won't stop behind another deer. I think he will. And yeah, look at him. That two-star adult, he's got some potential. That's a nice wide wreck as well. So it's funny because I was just saying that I haven't really seen a lot of good genetics out of this herd. And then, boom, <laughs> I see that guy. And now our one-star mature is kind of charging ahead of everybody here. As I said, they should settle down once they get over there. I really don't like moving. He's got a pretty wide rack on him as well. Maybe that's the two-star. Ah oh, man. Now I have to check. No have to check yes that's the two-star adult okay that's the one he's got that really wide rack and there's our one-star mature out in the lead now so oh gosh these two actually look pretty decent but I still think that's our that's our one star mature. Yeah, look at the antlers on those guys. They're looking really good. Okay. Shot in the heart, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that is our one star mature down. So here's the deal. Um, with the whole genetics and, and the herds, uh, and I don't know because, again, I'm still testing it. It's taking a very long time to test. But what I'm thinking is like that two-star mature, if he grows into a four-star, the best thing to do is just leave him in the herd, especially if there are no other decent animals. So we're going to try to just take out as many as the, the lowest fitness animals that we can. And we're just going to leave him in there. We're going to leave him in there and, you know, it, it's – hard to do because the hunter in you wants to take him but regardless of what he becomes i think we just need to let him go and let nature take its course with him so he can really cement you know his decent genes in that herd and once we get in, uh once we start getting some new young deer hopefully 
uh, his his genes will take over because he'll have less competition. So let's pick him up. Heart, nice. I knew it. I knew it. So yeah, right, right, like uh, well, kind of like above the elbow that time. Yeah, and we did. He was our one star. Forty-seven point seven genetics. Those are horrible. So we will sell him. And basically now, guys, like I literally own everything in the game except for that one eleven thousand dollar shotgun and maybe the very first shotgun too. I don't know, maybe a couple of shotguns. But other than that, I own every other gun in the game, all the calls, all the scopes. Basically, I'm just saving money for uh, trophy mounts. Okay, so we got our deer out of that herd. Let's uh, move on and let's see if we can't find yet another stand to hunt out of. Okay, so again, I know I said we were going to hunt out of stands, but uh, I came down to this lake because I wanted to check our herd of bighorn, which they are kind of leaving now. Um, and I have these elk right in front of me, and we had this one star... Mature doll. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a shot on him. But uh, it, it was surprising. They uh, they only drink here rarely. That's a one-star adult. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, get a shot on these guys. We are pretty close. But they are right in that <laughs> area there behind a little hill. So we might be able to get If we get around to the other side of the lake, we have a perfect shot. But I highly doubt they'll stay there that long. I'm pretty sure we'll end up spooking them out of there. Which again, I wanted to get to that stand and check out those bighorn sheep. Um, now, they're not here every day either. Which is odd because, again, their drink zone says often, but uh, the bighorn sheep definitely aren't here every day. There's sometimes I come here and I'll wait and wait, and they're not there. And then other days I'll come here and they'll already be here. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's making it very difficult to try to chronicle this herd. And don't tell me that these elk are still here. Yeah, they are. And they're they're calm too. Well, I mean, no, she's uh, she's alerted. Now the funny thing is, it's still the drink time. As you can see, the sheep they look like they're starting to head out. Which, uh, they shouldn't be because they've been drinking there probably, uh, yeah, probably just under an hour. Or maybe that's normal, I don't know. I never really sat there and, and watched to see how long the animals will necessarily stay at a drink zone. <laughs> Those elk are still right up over here, though, oddly enough. The one star adult. They are still right there, so I'm definitely thinking that in that last patch, they did do something because it seems like I should have spooked them out by now. I'm going to guess that that's armature right there. I swear it never fails. We can always find an elk. Always find an elk herd. It's 
a one star adult. One star adult. One star mature. It, that that's a one star adult. He's gonna be a big one. He's already much bigger than that one star adult. There's our mature. Ah. And they're already on their way out. <sighs> not sure if that was a good hit. Probably not. Another one of those quarter angle shots, but... So as usual, these hunts, they don't always go as planned. Our big one sheep are still over there. So at least maybe I can get an eye on a sort of young, an adult, an adult male, young male. I don't know, man. It's been a while since I came back here, and there's still no matures in this herd, so honestly, I have no idea what the time frame is for these things to grow. Is that... Hey, that's my elk right there, guys. How do you like that? How do you like that? Just managed to watch our elk die. And the elk are down there now. Looks like they might be drinking. You know, we could probably take him out to get him out of that herd as well. Oh yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so it doesn't look like the branch stopped us. Which is a good thing, because that's something that they were supposed to have fixed. Well, I guess the branches are supposed to uh, stop bullets less, so it's not 100% fixed. I mean, some branches, don't get me wrong, there's some branches in the game that should definitely um, mess up your shot. I totally get that. But some of the other ones, 
uh, the really small branches that were stopping it shouldn't like, for example, the ones that we just shot through those those small branches on those bushes. Those uh those should never stop your bullet. So our other elk is right up there. We have him marked. We probably should. Oh wait. Wow, that was a good shot. <laughs> Our other elk is down right here, guys. Look at that. So we made a good shot on him. Let's uh, let's pick him up. Right lung, left lung, and uh, he dropped quick. He dropped very quick. To, oh wow, that that genetics are horrible. Okay, let's sell him. And let's uh let's get our other elk up here. So look at him. I'm gonna take a while I guess to see his genetics are a little better than the last one. Okay, so we just got him in the right lung. We didn't get double lung with him. But that makes sense because, again, it was that quartered angle. But it was enough to take him down, so... Yeah, just very slightly in there. So let's see here. Yeah, 61.33%. So he was better. Okay, so I guess now we will go on to the next spot. Well, it seems like this is becoming quite the uh, the mule deer hunt, but uh, that's okay, man. I uh, I love the mule deer in this game. I love hunting them. So we have mule deer right here. This is the hunting tower, like right close to the main lodge, the uh, the Bear Den Ranch. So we've come down here. We have one star mature male. And then we have a two star mature right there. So I think that's going to be the best shot. There we go. Hope that was a good hit. <laughs> He, uh, there he is right there. There he is right there. I was just looking for the, uh, the larger of the antlers. Oh, man, he's still running. That doesn't make me feel too happy. And he's still running, so we did not hit him well at all. But I think he's slowing down. So we'll put a mark there. I think he's slowing down. So we'll have to go and see where the hell we hit him. I hit a little low. I was kind of hoping for another hard shot, but I may have gotten too greedy with the hard shots. That's That may be a thing. Did I mark... Uh, I didn't mark the initial spot that I shot him either, did I? Well, damn it. That could be an issue. I think I already found his blood trail. I'm not going to be too optimistic about it. Yeah, here's his blood trail right here. Pink! Okay, no. All right, it was, it was a good shot. You know, I keep forgetting, though, I'm, I got the 7, uh, the 7 mm 8 with me, so yep, that is a factor that I completely forgot about. 308, he would have dropped a lot quicker. With the uh, 7mm, we will have to track him a little bit further, but that's okay, because it is a gorgeous day out here in the Nez Perce Valley, and I mean, we're already out here, you know, we got nothing better to do, and those deer, they were actually coming back, oh, here he is right here, so he uh, he didn't really go 
that far, I would say. And let's see here how good of a shot we made on him. Okay, so the, the penetration, oh man, the penetration wasn't great because, look at that guys, we literally shot like right between the joint of that bone there. Okay, so mm, I should have shot back farther, but with this 7M08, I mean, check that out, guys. Still, it went through that bone right there, and it still hit left lung and right lung. Uh, was it the best? The left lung. So wait a minute. Okay. So we shot him through the the right lung, and then went through to the left lung. All right. Yeah. So I should have shot back a little further. I actually thought I was farther back than that, but oh well, mistakes happen. But we still got double lung. He went down. We still got our five star hunt rating, eighty two point four three percent, and he was only a two star mature. Not too bad on the uh, the genetics, but still just a two star. All right. So that is a lot of fun. I really enjoy the stand hunting in this game. Before I leave the video, though, guys, I do have a clip I want to show you. Um, I actually got my first five star. Oh, let's just see. I, I actually seen them running off over there. Yeah. I actually got my first five-star Ross's Goose, um, and I, I literally have not found a video to put that clip in yet, so I think we're going to end this video with, uh, with that clip. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're loving the game as much as I am. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and uh, we'll see you next time. But until then, guys, happy hunting. All right, guys, so we're trying to do this Ducker and Goose Pancakes mission, and we need to uh, harvest Ross's Goose and Lester Scalp, and we just laid eyes on a five-star mature goose right there. So I need to take as many of these guys out as I can anyway, but this definitely changes things. Damn, he's, he just keeps walking. I wish he would have stopped. Then I could have maybe got two geese here. Come on, buddy. Just stop. Just stop. Where is he going? Okay, he's turning back around here. <laughs> I can't see any of them, so... Did he go? There he is, right there. I think we got him. I think we got another one. <clears throat> I was a lot luckier, which is when I first started playing the game, getting shots out of the, uh, the sky, but not so much anymore. It's uh, starting to get trickier. 
All right, so I hope this is the five star. If we can just get the prompt up. There we go. 12 gauge, 37 yards. Ah, he was the five star. 96.27, 4.35 pounds. Very nice. So that's our first five star uh, feathered animal here and what did he score a 486 so he was actually quite large we are going to taxidermy him